Welcome to AutoSense, the world's leading community for ADAS and autonomous vehicle technology development. We create best-in-class events, training, and information for the purpose of connecting the global community of engineers, scientists, and other automotive industry experts. Today, we are joined by Ido Cohen, VP of Automotive Product at Valenz Semiconductor. And Ido, welcome to AutoSense. Thank you for being here. Hi, Carl. Thank you for having me. Happy to be here. Yeah, indeed. And, and Ido, when when we hear Valenz Semiconductor, we tend to always think MIPI A5. That's the first thing that comes to mind when, when I hear Valenz. And so tell us a little bit about MIPI A5 and some of the advantages that it brings to the industry. Yeah, great. Uh, <clears throat> so MIPI A5 is the first asymmetric uh, high-speed, long-reach uh, standard for the automotive. It came uh, as part of industry understanding and uh, <clears throat> request for a standard that will uh, make a very clear and um, robust solution going forward. As uh, OEM started understanding that the propriety solution uh, that existed are uh, limiting them. So it was developed by the MIPI Alliance, which is an established 20-year uh, standardization body. Uh, and it was designed as an extension to its uh, widely adopted uh, uh, solutions. There's uh, CSI2 and C5 and D5. The current version of A5 is supporting up to 16 gigabit per second downlink uh, with five uh, separate gears and up to 200 me me megabit per second is an uplink to support uh, secondary interfaces like uh, um, UART, uh, SPI, I2C, GPIOs, and uh, Ethernet. So this kind of uh, interface is allowed to add functionality uh, in addition to the main interface, which is a CSI2 uh, or other uh, image-related uh, uh, interface from MIPI Alliance. It, uh, the A5 is, provides best-in-class uh, noise immunity, and that was one of the major elements when uh, going to the design that we're, we were focused on. And it brings it with extremely low packet error rate of 10 by minus 19. In addition, and I think that's, that's another major uh, advantage for um, A5, as part of the, uh, uh, being part of the MIPI Alliance, it brings also a complete ecosystem from the participants. There are um, <clears throat> software companies, hardware companies, silicon companies, IP companies that are involved in the development and provide an end-to-end -end solution. Also, uh, in addition, not just the IP itself, the validation IP, validation uh, 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 testing equipment, and compliance uh, activities that being ramped up at this time. So it brings both a technical advantage as we uh, uh, just showed, and also the overall ecosystem uh, support with uh, companies in all level, stakeholders in all level of solution. And in addition, a clear roadmap as a standard for not just for the current solution, but uh, a clear go uh, path for future solutions with uh, A5 2.0 just behind the corner, uh, supposed to be released by the end of this year to be supporting 32 gigabit per second per single lane. So this is a, a, a very clear roadmap and uh, gives an OEM a very clear understanding of what to expect, not just today, also during the next uh, few years that are expected. And that's, I think, a major advantage uh, in addition to the technical advantages. Ido, you know, in the past, Valens has brought really unique and, and quite frankly, just incredible live demonstrations of radars with centralized processing to the AutoSense events. And in May of 2023 at the Huntington Place in downtown Detroit, I had the pleasure of speaking with your colleague, Daniel Schwartzberg, who went through one of these demonstrations with me. Uh, Ido, can you tell us 
with that live demonstration in mind, can you tell us a little bit about how you've accomplished some of these innovations with radars and centralized processing, and then how it's a game changer for radar applications and implementations? With these solutions, it's actually allow you to do two very interesting things. One is to get the data, the raw data from uh, these points and be, being able to do the uh, analysis and the processing in a single ECU. <clears throat> and this brings this brings two specific advantages. One, the end point, the end unit becomes simpler. You don't need any computation or almost no computation at that point. It also reduces the power consumption of this unit. So you can um, utilize the A5 power over cable capabilities and actually uh, power this uh, remote unit from your uh, from the from a remote uh, a, a sub, a, a power supply. So you don't need. It's again getting a smaller and lower cost end uh, unit. So that's that's the first thing. And uh, the second thing about it is that. The, the second generation allows you to actually synchronize between these two units. And then you get even much, you get better re results when you are able to uh, sync and compare the two kind of uh, radar inputs coming to uh, raw data coming. <clears throat> and each of them, again, this is a simple unit for, a, for each of them, but at the end you get a much better understanding of the information because it's been uh, processed in a single, more uh, strong unit. <clears throat> in, in addition, uh, I think Valence solution also brings another advantage to this. And uh, it, the ability to work up to four gigabit per second over unshielded twisted pairs cables. So, if you look at the a current solution, a current radar solution that is utilizing, let's say, 100 megabit Ethernet unshielded twisted per cable, and it use it, it use it in order to uh, transmit the uh, process data. Now you can replace the same unit on the same cable with uh, the same harnesses. So no uh, harness change or no architecture of the harness needs to be changed and get the raw data up the raw data up to 4 gigabit per second so there are this is another advantage that uh, valence is bringing with its uh, va7000 chipset it allows you to do the same thing and without need to make major changes to the harnesses in your vehicle so i think that uh, the demo that you have seen and probably you will see it also in uh the coming uh, AutoSense in Brussels, this is exactly that. Being able to utilize new technologies, standardized technologies to have a much better ecosystem, much better overall solution and looking forward solutions that improve the quality of the, auto, the, the autonomous vehicles in the future and any uh, um, smarter and simpler uh, solutions that come to the automotive market. Joined today by Ido Cohen, VP of Automotive Product for Valenz Semiconductor, sharing lots of insights and thought leadership here. Ido, thank you for your time and for taking a few minutes out of your schedule to be with us. I look forward to seeing you in Brussels, safe travels there. And I look forward to being able to sit down and do an interview uh, like this again in the near future. Uh, real soon. But in the meantime, thank you for your time and thank you for being here. Thank you, Carl. Looking forward to seeing you in Brussels. Bye. For more in-depth interviews like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow AutoSense on LinkedIn. For more information on our world-class events, visit auto-sense.com. That's auto-sense.com. In Detroit, on behalf of AutoSense, I'm Carl Anthony. Thank you.